Hello, my name is Max Devarev and today I want to show you my project I've been working on for several years. This is a Pi KVM, the Raspberry Pi based KVM over IP. Perhaps you may have already seen other similar projects, but I can probably say that my implementation is the most advanced. It provides not only Full HD video and keyboard, but also mouse, bootable virtual drive, power control of a server, IPMI BMC, Wacom LAN and provides access via web UI or even via standard VNC protocol. This is a lot of software that I wrote. The basic idea is very simple. The Raspberry Pi 4 or 0 has an USB OTG port. It connects to the server or workstation and emulates a keyboard and mouse and uses the video capture device to get an image uh, from HDMI and transmit it over network. So, if your operating system doesn't boot, you can use the thing to try to fix it. Here we have uh, the Raspberry Pi with a video capture device connected to the HDMI of the test server. The Pi is also emulates the heat device. And these small boards with the several chip parts allows you to manage the server power, turn it on, off, restart, and view the power LED status or disk activity. It's connected to the Pi and regular ATX pins on motherboard instead of buttons, but uh, you can connect it in parallel to the buttons and the LEDs, of course. And this is a USB splitter cable. It's it requires to split the power lines and the data lines of Raspberry Pi's USB-C. One side plug it into the Pi, the other side with only data lines to the server here uh, and this one goes to the power supply and uh, that's all. It's simple and can be made from any cables in 10 minutes. If you connect uh, the USB-C directly to the server and power the Pi uh, using GPO pins, the power from the USB will go to the motherboard. Some motherboards will not boot because of this. Okay, let's see how it works. PyCVM provides a pretty web interface for managing the server. Let's log in. And let's click the power button remotely, of course. As you can see, the fan is working and BIOS booting. I can go to the BIOS and configure something here, the keyboard working. We can also perform re hard reboot and uh, perform the long press of the power button. And now there's something special. We can connect a virtual CD-ROM that is emulated by Pi KVM and even install the operating system within. Uh, it's much cooler than uh, just looking at uh, a blank screen, isn't? So let's choose the image, for example, Arch Linux. You can switch uh, emulation mode from CD-ROM and flash drive. Choose the CD-ROM drive, connect uh, to the server, and power on. Boot in again. My motherboard is very slow, but it's working. Here, the video mode is switching to the widest, to HD, and it's booting.
now I will choose a different image and we'll boot the GUI from the live CD. I've already uploaded some images so as not to keep you waiting. Okay, this is an Arch Linux CLI. Let's do something like that. Top. Top is working. Remove rootfs. <laughs> ah, nah. Let's power off. Simple. Okay. Disconnecting drive. Choose the Knopix. Choose CD-ROM. Connecting and power on. old image for all motherboard but PyCOM is also perfectly working the, with the modern motherboard with uh, UEFI BIOS choosing graphical mode starting X server not only mass storage but uh, the mouse works great, great also. Now the hard part. You can integrate Pike VM to into your network infrastructure and use IPMI to manage the server. For example, IPMI tool. Get in status. Power off. Using long press button and voila if you don't have enough of a web interface you can use uh, the regular vnc connecting how about this Cool, isn't? Oops. <laughs> VNC and uh, IPMI is a great choice. Reset. BIOS and VNC. Very, very cool, I think. It's uh, almost production. <laughs> PKVM uh, perfectly supports Full HD video. And uh, let's connect this laptop to PKVM instead of server. And look at this. Now my laptop connected uh, to PKVM using HDMI and uh, USB cable. Not AXP is connected because it's laptop, but as uh, you can see, uh, HD video is pretty good. Uh, not only mouse, but uh, mouse wheel is also working. PKVM has a few cool things like virtual keyboard, shortcut menu, macro recorder, so you can uh, record some actions and uh, play it uh, many, many times. PKVM also monitors uh, the hardware health and uh, warn you if uh, Raspberry will be undervolted or overheated. Under this video you will find uh, links to the, com to, to the source code. It's uh, completely open source. 
and uh, links to our community chat, Reddit and Twitter follow to uh, get uh, news. PyCVM can work with any uh, Raspberry Pi board starting to uh, uh, Raspberry Pi 2, 3 or 0 for the cheapest solution. You can use uh, HDMI CSI bridge or USB dongle, uh, but HDMI gives you uh, extra small latency, 100 milliseconds. So, if you like it, uh, you can build it yourself. Thank you for watching this video. Be happy and bye.